Hi everyone, welcome back. If you do not know, my name is Devin. Here on my channel, I cover all things beauty. That includes makeup, fragrance, and designing here and there. If you think that is something you if you think that's something you're interested in, then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every week when I upload. And in today's video, we are talking about the brand new Victoria's Secret Pink Summer Collection, you guys. Yes, I'm so excited. Um, this collection was everything. When I started seeing the promo pictures, um, everybody has been wanting to get their hands on it. And I finally did. So if you guys want to hear my thoughts and opinions on this brand new collection, then just keep watching. You guys, I'm not going to lie. This is the most exciting pink collection in a minute. Like I always get a lot of their collections, Pink and Victoria's Secret, to review. Um, some of them are mainly hit or misses. But this collection, when I start seeing the notes and the names of them, I was like, oh my God, I hope they do this collection right. And if I'm being honest... I think they did. I really think they did a good job with this collection. Obviously, it's only three fragrances in here. I do like them all, um, but I am going to be ranking them from my most favorite to my least favorite, and I'm going to tell you why. And I also have a couple things to compare one or two of these with, okay? Go ahead and start with my favorite. When I seen the scent notes, I was like, oh my God, that screams summer. This is going to be rocket pop you guys first of all look at the packaging they did an amazing job with the packaging it's super cute it's giving summer so this one is a rocket pop and this is cherry ice sunshine lemon and blue raspberry when i seen those notes i was like oh okay they're trying to do like a little bomb pop thing you know what a bomb pops looks like so that is what this reminds me of so we're gonna go ahead and spray it and we're gonna go ahead and talk about it i did test these out a little bit so i can talk to you guys about it so yeah so this one is my absolute favorite it definitely reminds me of a nice cold bomb pop on a hot summer day and it is like 95 degrees outside so we need this it smells so good you definitely get every single note in here i get the cherry ice i get the lemon and i also get the blue raspberry it is like the perfect combination of sweet goodness if you want to smell like a delicious treat a delicious popsicle definitely knock this one out the park i get every last note in here and i love that about this because sometimes you can smell one note more than the other, but I just feel like this is the perfect mixture of everything. And this one actually lasts a pretty good amount of time on my skin and my clothes. As you know, Victoria's Secret, their fragrances don't always last the best. The only thing is, again, for the million time, I wish they would change the sprayer because it is really aggressive. It does have a little bit of mist to it, but it still shoots out a little bit of aggressive. So you do, you will get those. If you hold it too close, you will get those wet spots on you. So you definitely have to be a decent amount away from yourself while spraying. But I absolutely love this one. Now, when I seen the scent notes on here, I was wondering if this was going to smell anything like uh, Bath and Body Works Firecracker Pop. So I decided to go ahead and bring that one out so that I can compare the two. Firecracker Pop has a red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. So it has a very similar like tone to it it also you know the packaging is always red white and blue this is the old packaging from like 2021 they also have this one out in stores right now if you are interested they definitely smell different i was thinking to my nose like the scent notes they were going to smell like really really similar but so my nose, they smell different. I definitely get a red cherry note in here. I definitely get a little bit of a citrus note in here, but this one screams like lemon, not just a citrusy note, but like actual lemon. It's also like 
so much sweeter. Definitely get the blue raspberry in here where this doesn't have blue raspberry. It has a berry note in here. So that's where I can kind of detect the difference in here. Like they are definitely different and um, that does not mean you won't like both. Like if you like one, I think you will like the other as well, but they are definitely different enough that it's okay to have both of them in your collection. Cracker Pop has never been one of my favorite scents for some reason. It's not a bad scent. I do like it, but it's never been like, oh my God, it's one of my favorites. If I had to pick one of the other, I think I would pick the pink one over this one. I just like it. I just really, really enjoy the scent of this. They did an amazing job. So that is my little bit of a comparison between the Rocket Pop and Firecracker Pop. Yeah. All right. So moving on to the next one that I love. Now this one, when I first seen it, this is the very first one I seen like the pictures of it. And I was like, I'm definitely going to get that. And I just knew this was going to be my favorite, but it's not my favorite only because I have a lot of scents that kind of have a similar DNA, but it's still really, really good. Okay. So don't get it twisted. I still really enjoy this one. This is going to be cotton candy. And this one is strawberry sugar, fluffy vanilla, and boardwalk air. Well, there are so many different scents that come to mind when I think of these scent notes. And honestly, this one does not leave me disappointed. Again, hate the mister. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. But the scent is amazing. So when I first spray this, I get a blast of that strawberry sugar. It's almost definitely giving cotton candy like. The cotton candy is really, really sweet, but airy and fluffy. That is exactly what this is. It smells really, really nice. I do find that this one has a little bit more of that alcoholic smell in it, but after a while, it kind of dies down. This one doesn't last an extensive amount, but I can definitely make it work. So I do enjoy this one. I like it. I really, really enjoy the scent of it. I just wished it lasts a little bit longer. Now, when I was thinking of this one i also thought of pop jelly warm and cozy and the reason i thought about this is because this one also has a cotton candy note in here it has fluffy vanilla and strawberry gloss so as you can see it definitely has some similar notes in here side by side i feel like they are not quite identical but they're definitely in the same family definitely could be sisters maybe cousins it's really, really close, but it's something a little bit different. I definitely feel like they definitely have a similarity in here. They definitely are related for sure. I feel like this one, the strawberry is a lot stronger in here and a little bit more prominent than this one because the strawberry in this one is like, even though it's the base note in here, I don't know it's it's just a little bit more if you are on a budget if you feel like you don't need to go out and be buying every single collection i would say smell these side by side because i want to say this one is still in stores as well smell them and see if you can detect a difference but it's not that big of a difference if that makes sense like there's a difference it's a slight difference and if you are a collector if you love fragrance then you might want to have them both like myself, but is it necessary? No, I don't think it is. I feel like they have very, very similar notes as well as they smell extremely similar. Smells stronger though. The pink one smells stronger for whatever reason. One that came to mind was Boardwalk Taffy or Cotton Candy Clouds. They are the exact same thing. This one is spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. So it definitely has, you know, some of the same similarities to it as well. So with these two, again, they are definitely similar, definitely, definitely similar. I feel like they are cousins and not sisters. But if again, if you, you know Cotton Candy Clouds or Boardwalk Taffy, do you need this new Cotton Candy one? You don't. You definitely get the same type of vibe from it. I'm going to keep both. I'm going to use both. Um, and Bath and Body Works, honestly, they last a lot longer than the Victoria's Secret ones. They also smell a lot less like alcohol when you first spray them, but they both have this really nice, fluffy cotton candy texture to them. This one definitely smells more strawberry, where this one just smells like pink. If pink 
had a scent it would smell like pink cotton candy i know pink cotton candy you think strawberry duh like but there's something about these two that are definitely a little bit different but do you need both of them you absolutely do not all right and then the final fragrance is going to be peach swirl i am on the fence about this one and i'm gonna tell you why so i love a good peach note peach is one of my favorite spring summer fragrances i love anything with peach like how can you do peach wrong but this one has a white peach whipped coconut and tan line and i really think a lot of people will enjoy this one but you know there's a blurred line between coconut and sunscreeny products for me at least that i'm kind of like it's a hit or miss okay so when i first smelled this one i was like all right i mean it does have that alcohol note in here i feel like this one and the cotton candy one have the strongest of the alcohol scent notes in here but i was like you know what okay not bad it's a beautiful peach note in here definitely a white juicy peach which i like but then it starts drying down and i start to get this coconut and sunscreen type of thing i'm somewhere in between like i don't love it but i also don't hate it and i feel like i want to put this all over my body and give it a try i have sprayed all these on my skin but i have not like fully tested them all over body you know mix them with other things and i feel like this one i'm going to have to mix this is not one that i want to wear by itself where the other two i can wear them by themselves so it starts drying down right and for whatever reason i'm starting to get this weird grease note in here it smells like old school hair grease something that your mom used to use on your hair when you were a kid to either flat iron it or do your ponytails or something like that i don't know that it's doing what i wanted it to do like i just don't it's just not i haven't decided if i'm going to take this one back yet um it's not overly horrible i think i can work with this but it's like do you want to keep collecting things that you don't absolutely love and i am trying to limit my space and my collection and not have a million body sprays like it doesn't make sense especially because i don't enjoy the way that the body mist work for victoria's secret so i'm definitely on the fence with this one but the other two i absolutely love and highly suggest that you guys go in and check them out i didn't really have anything quite like this in my collection i do have other peach scents um i do have other coconut scents but this one kind of stood by itself. I cannot really think of anything that it really reminded me of. So that's the reason why I didn't do a comparison. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is basically my thoughts. I am curious if any of you guys pick up this collection. I know a lot of people have been interested in this collection and saying they want it. But are you going to go pick it up? Have you smelled anything? And if so, what do you think? So yeah, guys, that is it. Uh, that's basically everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.